Hi, I'm Pat Harker, President of the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia. I am a Fed President, but I'm also a recovering academic. When I was at the University of Delaware and at the University of Pennsylvania, you know, I started to think about how those institutions, and institutions generally, affected local economies. So I also started to think at the macro level. Now, how do those institutions, the eds and meds, interact with our changing economy? An economy that's always changing, what role do they play in those changes? So I started to think about how do we create a quantitative approach to study these questions? And in came Deborah Diamond. Deborah is our director of the Anchor Economy Initiative. Welcome, Deborah. Thanks. A unique feature of this new initiative is something we're calling the Anchor Economy Dashboard. It really is an incredibly impressive tool to provide insights, not just at the national, at the macro level, but all the way down to 524 regions in the economy. Tell us about it. The Anchor Economy Dashboard brings together all of the higher eds and all of the hospitals in your region. And you can look at their impacts in terms of how many people are employed, how many jobs depend on these institutions, and how much gross value added, how much total economic activity there is in the region. Yeah, it's incredible, because if you think of it at the national level, sort of the macro level, this is a big part of the US economy, right? 18 million jobs, 1.1 trillion in income, and 1.7 in gross value added in this sector of the economy. So we have those numbers at the national level, but what's powerful, as you said, is we can get that down to the region. But how can regions use this tool to really understand the impact of edge and meds and how important those edge and meds are, and then some measures that we can use to discern whether we have too much, too little, just the right amount. The Anchor Economy Dashboard answers two questions. The first is, what's the economic impact of higher eds and hospitals on my region? What are they producing in terms of jobs, economic activity, supporting other businesses in my region? The second question is, how dependent is my region on anchor institutions? So we take a look at a region like the New York City region. They're producing a lot of jobs, hospitals and higher eds, a lot of economic activity. But New York isn't particularly dependent on eds and meds for their economic activity because a lot of other things are going on in the regional economy. If you take a look at a college town like Ithaca, New York, or you have Cornell, Ithaca College, they have high reliance on higher education institutions and hospitals. And so we created something called the Reliance Index. And that tells you in your region how dependent you are on eds and meds for economic activity. And so that brings up the, the question of what's a good score? Is there a perfect score? How do we think about that? There's not a good or a bad score. What it depends on is what's the strength of those institutions in your region. If you're highly reliant, if you have a score above one um, on the reliance index and your institutions are really strong, then it's a real, it's a regional advantage. It's a strength and it's an asset to leverage. If you're seeing that your university enrollments are going down, mm -hmm. hospital utilization is going down, then it's an indication to look at this sector and see, does it need shoring up? Do you need regional diversity in your economy? So this is great. We've got this tool, right? We have this uh, way of communities starting a conversation about their future with a fact base that we're providing. What's next? We really want people to go to the Anchor Economy Dashboard and plug in their region, take a look at regions that they think of as peers or competitors, and see how their impacts and their reliance index differ. So that's at philadelphiafed.org slash anchor economy. We'll be producing more research around anchor institutions and their impact on the economy, and we'll also be bringing together leaders, policymakers, economic development leaders to think about how to leverage anchor institutions for equitable economic growth. Deborah, thank you so much for explaining this incredibly powerful tool. I'm really proud of the work we've done, and I really encourage everyone to take a look. This is a powerful tool for you and your communities to start a conversation. <laughs>